Here's a quick configuration video for Orbi Pro Wi-Fi 6 series network segmentation. Here is a typical SMB network. We have three VLANs. The VLANs are currently configured on a VLAN and we're switch. VLAN 20 are for employees. VLAN 30 are for security and IoT devices. And VLAN 40 is dedicated for guests and visitors. The current wireless access points are dedicated for specific VLANs in the office. While this setup may work, it does not provide the ability to distribute the VLANs wired and wirelessly while enhancing the security and management of the SMB network. In this particular use case, we will be installing the Orbi Pro Wi-Fi 6 router in the middle of the second floor of the business. The satellite will be located at the front desk on the first floor. The Orbi Pro Wi-Fi 6 solution will distribute the three VLANs wired and wirelessly to the front desk for additional wired and wireless connectivity. Please note, this video does not include the initial setup of the Orbi Pro Wi-Fi 6. It will only focus on the network segmentation features. So let's get this demo installation started. So let's log on to the Orbi Pro Wi-Fi 6 local interface GUI. Once the GUI is up and running, we will now go to Advanced, Setup, and then LAN Setup. A total of five networks can be configured. Each network can have its own VLAN and DUCP pool. This unique feature provides the administrator an extra layer of security and network separation when providing internet access to guests or vendors. If you notice, LAN 1's VLAN profile is set to default and cannot be edited or configured. So let's go to LAN 2. Click on VLAN profile. If the default profiles are not correct, click on New VLAN Profile Plus to create a customized VLAN name, VLAN ID. And also, there's options for client isolation and network isolation. Client isolation is the Orbi Pro providing the ability to isolate clients on the same VLAN. And network isolation is the Orbi Pro providing the ability to isolate host clients in the VLAN from reaching other ports, hosts, and clients in other VLANs. Once the VLAN profile and DCP service settings are correct, we will move to the next step, which is configuring the SSID to a VLAN profile. First, we'll go to Basic tab, then Wireless, and then we will configure the wireless settings. In this demo, we required three VLAN SSIDs. The first one is SSID employee using VLAN 20. The next is SSID IoT using VLAN 30. And the last SSID is VLAN 40 for SSID guest. In Wireless 2, we will configure it to SSID employee and select the VLAN profile employee, which is VLAN 20. Be sure to select the VLAN profile box and apply to save settings. Repeat the same steps for wireless 3 and wireless floor for VLANs 30 and VLANs 40. After the three SSIDs are configured with the VLAN profile, we will now configure the Ethernet ports on the router and satellite to the correct VLAN profiles. First, we'll click on Advanced tab, then Advanced Setup, and then VLAN bridge settings. So let's review how the Ethernet ports are connected. In our topology diagram, on the router, Ethernet 2 is configured to VLAN 20 and connected to a VLAN aware switch. Ethernet 3 is configured to VLAN 30 and also connected to a VLAN aware switch. And Ethernet 4 is configured to VLAN 40 and connected to a VLAN aware switch. On the satellite side, Ethernet 2 is configured to VLAN 20 and connected to a PC. And Ethernet 3 is configured VLAN 30 and connected to a IP security camera. 
And lastly, Ethernet 4 is configured to VLAN 40 and connected to a printer. So let's go back to the Orbi Pro configuration. On the router, Ethernet 2 is set to VLAN profile 20. And the mode is left to trunk since the Ethernet port is connected to a VLAN aware switch and can pass packets. Ethernet 3, we will configure it to VLAN profile 30. And Ethernet 4, we will configure it to VLAN profile 40. And both Ethernet 3 and Ethernet 4, we will leave it at trunk mode since they are also configured to a switch. On the satellite side, Ethernet 2 will be configured to VLAN profile 20 and the mode to access since a PC is connected and is not VLAN aware. Ethernet port 3 is configured to VLAN profile 30 and is connected to a camera that is also not VLAN aware, so we will change it to access mode. Ethernet 4 is configured to VLAN profile 40 and is also connected to a printer and not VLAN aware, so we will leave the mode to access. Once the Ethernet port VLAN bridge settings are complete, click Apply. The router and satellite will restart and apply all the settings. So now we're all back up. So let's start cabling the devices and complete our installation. Thanks for watching.